Hello again, this time I'll just quickly show you how you can actually create a new database and then uh, use it or connect to it. Now I'm logged in uh, using my root account. Uh, I've, I've uh, shown you how to do that, it's quite simple. Now to create a database we just say create database and then we give it a name. Let's say for example uh, my database with a semicolon and there you go now it's telling me that the database has been created the query was correct now what I can do is I need to connect to it so I can say use if you remember that from previous videos we can use and then my database and what happens now I have changed I have actually changed to that database so now I can play about with the database, I can for example create new tables or change the structure of the database. Remember that tables always usually uh, need to be created inside a database. So we create a database first and then we create tables inside the, uh, that uh, um, uh, database. Another interesting command maybe if, if you're interested is actually to how to delete or remove a whole database and what I can do is I can just say drop database and then give that you know that base name so database name with a semicolon yeah you just give the DB name uh, with a semicolon so for example to drop the database that we have just created what we do is we just say drop remember you know just common practice to have a capital case drop database and then my database the one that I have just created and what you can say is query is okay that database has been removed in fact let's do something quickly yes uh, let's for example create database and then say show database as if you remember that from previous videos and it's telling me now about all the databases that I can see this is actually l much more than what we saw before because now I'm connected to the database using my root account so I can see everything that's the MySQL one where we created the user and the one I created now my database is where is it is here yes but if we remove it drop it and then show databases again notice that my database now is gone it's not there thanks for watching next time we'll uh, explain some data types that uh, MySQL or MySQL uses and then we'll try to show you how to connect or to create tables and uh, connect to them and play with them. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.